Hey everyone, we're in Deir Hajla. And this is an ancient place that dates all the way back to the late Roman time and, uh, and it's full of history, unexplored, untouched, and we're wearing... Ancient clothes. Ancient clothes. Why? Because there's someone special with us here. Shalom! <laughs> Shalom, friends! <laughs> Today, Rhoda and I joined the famous Israeli singer-songwriter Shilo Ben Hod. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I can't believe yeah, finally yeah, got to finally. meet you. I've been mean, listening to your music for years. And we were invited here to take part in the filming of the Passover special music video for one of his latest songs. It's a worship song that is called Before. And uh, the song actually speaks about how we are in a reality that we are before our Heavenly Father, but we are still before the world, we're in the presence of this world. The location? Two miles north of the Dead Sea and a few hundred feet from the Jordan River, where the ruins of an ancient monastery lie, with archaeological artifacts that date back as far as the 6th century. And my father said, oh, I know the right place. So he took me here, and this place just looks like Goshen, like Goshen where the Israelites were in Egypt. This is only a mile south from Qasr el Yahud, a place where it is believed Jesus was baptized in, the place where the Israelites crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. Passed through yes. into the Promised Land, and it's also where Elijah and Elisha passed back yes. and forth, and um, so, and it's where John the Baptist baptized as well. And with this in mind, Shilo decided to make a Passover special music video in this very spot, and he invited his family and friends to be a part of it. And despite the fact that Rhoda and I had never acted before, we conquered our stage fears for the sake of taking on this great opportunity to meet Shiloh and his family. <laughs> it's so good to see you. I can't believe yeah, finally yeah, got to finally. meet you. I've been mean, listening to your music for years. And this is one of the most exciting days this year for us. For us the same, for me the same. <laughs> Shilo writes, performs, and sings worship songs in the Hebrew language. If you're familiar with the famous concert from Jerusalem called Praises of Israel, then you have most likely seen him and heard at least a few of his 22 songs that he has released in the past two years. But the song he's filming the music video for today is one of the most unique worship songs I have ever heard. It's a worship song that is called Before. And uh, the song actually speaks about how we are in a reality that we are before our Heavenly Father, but we are still before the world. We are in the presence of this world. And how we see the darkness increasing, and we respond by increasing our worship to our Father. So it's, it's a song of contrast. It's a song of actually warfare. But it's, it's a worship song because we worship God and He's the victorious one in the end. Oh, amen. And this is so cool. The, the first uh, uh, verse of the song starts with Jesus and you're singing it in Hebrew and you're saying Yeshua. Mul Yeshua narim yadaim lo nafsik lafayr. Wow. Like we will not stop glorifying Yeshua because we are not ashamed in Yeshua. He's the only name that has salvation through that name. Wow. Ah, I just get goosebumps just <laughs> hearing that. This is awesome. Wow, okay, so and the idea for this music video clip, how, how, did, how did you get to it? Uh... Well, we, we were thinking what can we do for Passover and then we were thinking, well, we can't do all the story, but we were thinking about the two last plagues, the, the darkness plagues and, and the firstborn plague, because this was like the climax of all the story, right before they are uh, leaving. It's a very intense part of the story and uh, we wanted to capture it. We wanted to capture it because we're actually it's an image of how we are in the world right now. Like, we know victory belongs to Yeshua, but we are still in this darkness, and we still need to be strong, and we still need to worship. So I wanted to capture it in the video that we are still, we are still here fighting. Victory yeah. is, we know victory is there with Yeshua, but we are here, yeah. Uh, wow, this is so cool. So it looks ancient, this place, and the houses look ancient, but it's not that ancient, actually. Uh, the, what you see above the ground is 
pretty recent, yeah, like 20th 70 century. years. Yeah, yeah, 70 years, right? They 1950s and yeah, 30s. Yeah, yeah what it was, like there was a sign like 1953 it was built. What I'm, yeah. Oh yeah, and so, so the buildings you see on top of the ground are kind of pretty recent, yeah. but what's under the ground is quite ancient. Over 100 years ago, this site was surveyed by J.L. Federlin, and it was identified as an ancient monastery. At that time, they actually had to dig down into the soil to find it. Today, only a few remains can still be seen. And even though we've been told that this could be the original monastery of St. Gerasimus, this theory is not confirmed. So like about 500 feet from here, there is a monastery that we filmed uh, about two years ago. You can check out the video. It's called St. Gerasimus Monastery. We'll this place, they believe, used to be the original St. Gerasimus Monastery, uh, but it's kind of disputable. However, a good presence of Byzantic pottery was indeed found at this site. Not only that, on that area, just as close, is the Castel Yehud, which is yes. also the place where the Israelites supposedly passed through yes. into the Promised Land. And it's also where Elijah and Elisha passed back yes. and forth. And um, so, and it's where John the Baptist baptized as well. Yes. So we did a video about that yeah. as well, and we'll link it down below so you guys can check that out. Well, how did you find this place? I mean. Well, we, we were thinking about filming something for Pesach, for Passover. Yeah. And my father said, oh, I know the right place. So he took me here and this place just looks like Goshen. Like Goshen, where the Israelites were in Egypt. And it's a perfect place to film a Passover music video. Okay, so the music video is coming out in a few months. No, Today's. we hope the music video will come out in a week, about a week and a half. In a week! You're gonna edit all this. Okay, they've taken like maybe thousands of videos. Listen, <laughs> this is a crazy thing that our producer Michael Hills then agreed to do. Uh, but our, our purpose is to release it on Passover Eve. Wow. Uh, because uh, I think it will be very relevant. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you will be able to get a notification when it releases this video. Rod and I are gonna be in there. Uh, probably you don't wanna see that, skip those parts, but oh. listen to the rest of it. It is absolutely good and incredible. We already heard the song. It is beautiful, it is very moving, and it's very powerful. The words, make sure you enable the subtitles because yes. there'll be translation yes. in English, right? There will be. Yes, and uh, yeah, we can't wait. And uh, we are just so excited and we love you guys so much. Uh, love you too, brother. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, thank you, Aki. Thank you. All right. Having a break, and now time for food. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's a wrap. They're uh, done filming to most of the part. They still got some B-rolls to do, but uh, our job is done and we're heading back home. But before we go, we just want to say thank you for watching this small little in-between seasons video. And we hope you enjoyed it. Yes, yes, God bless you all. God bless you all. And by the don't forget to subscribe to yes. Shilo's YouTube channel where this music video will come out. It won't be on our channel, it'll be on Shilo's YouTube channel. So make sure mm -hmm. to click on the link below. It's in the description of this video. So make sure to listen to other of his songs. They're absolutely incredible. We've yes. got it like on the loop. Yep. Almost a year or <laughs> <Pretty> more. Much. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, so you can imagine how excited we are to be here today. And um, we hope to see you next time. God bless you. Look at the house, look well preserved it is. Let's go check it out. But you know, for like recent building, it's pretty, the material, like what was the binder between the stones that they used is very soft. So you can see that they, um, what do you see? Well, it's just a house, but look how it's built. I mean, it's all kind of crumbles down. Careful, honey, careful. Whoops.